Exactly five months ago, I experimented with Venus flytrap leaf pulling propagation, and I'm very excited about the results. So today I wanted to share with you an update of the seedlings and also share some key tips that I believe made this propagation successful. These are the seedlings from the propagation. They are about three months old right now since they started growing. They are of good size. Here it's a penny for reference. They have also developed some good coloring and tons of traps. I also experimented with pure water propagation. So I set up a leaf pulling inside this jar and I provided some lighting. But so far, nothing has happened. I haven't tossed it away because well, it's not bothering me and it's just in a, in a corner under a plant light. So it's doing just fine, but really no success there. But from the leaf pullings set up in the soil, actually three out of three, so like 100% success from those leaf pullings. I'm very excited about that and I'll keep caring for these seedlings until hopefully they reach maturity. It'll still be a while until then, but it is a great project. Now I'd like to share some key tips that I believe that made this propagation a success. The first one is that when I propagated these leaf pullings, I placed this whole tray inside a Ziploc bag. I added water first and then I sealed that Ziploc bag and that Ziploc bag really helped keep the humidity high. I barely had to water the seedlings, well, actually before then, water the leaf pullings because the Ziploc bag kept them extremely humid. And actually I wasn't even checking on it very often. I didn't notice the propagation was successful until the end of January when I looked at the, the leaf pullings and then I saw a bunch of leaves on uh, the three Venus flytraps that had developed. The Ziploc bag was really useful in that case. But I did notice that when they just started growing, because there was a lot of condensation in the Ziploc bag, the seedlings didn't have a lot of access to lighting. And for that reason, the first, the first leaves that they grew, they actually grew without the traps. Uh, so I slowly started then removing the tray from the, from the Ziploc bag. So I started introducing them to less and less humidity until I finally took them off the bag completely. And as they had more exposure to lighting, the lighting had a great effect on them and they actually developed tons of traps. Also, I don't believe I would have been successful if I didn't use the tray method after I removed the seedlings out of the Ziploc bag. It has really helped me keep them in a moist environment. I live in Phoenix, Arizona, and here it's extremely dry, so I really have to fight the dry climate and keep them at a, at a reasonable humidity level, level where they can actually develop. If you have seedlings at the moment, or if you would like to learn how to care for them for future reference, feel free to check out my video on seedling care. I feature these seedlings and, a, and one more that I have from another propagation. I hope this video has encouraged you to try leaf pulling or leaf cutting propagation for your Venus flytrap. It's not a hard process and you can actually get many Venus flytraps from just a single plant. You can check out the full instructions in the original leaf cutting propagation video. Also, I will continue making updates for, to show you how these plants actually develop in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll appreciate if you like and subscribe.